Castle walls are some of the most simple yet difficult things to build in Minecraft. If you add too much detail, they can draw attention from what's within the walls, which is usually the point of focus. If you make them too simple, they can be underwhelming. I like to add a good mix of realistic design with a touch of style, and these are five designs that I like to go to. I attempt to work in realistic defenses into all the walls that I build. Crenellations are the height variations at the top that you can hide behind, then move over and shoot over. Murder holes and matriculations are holes that provide top-down defense, and arrow slits provide a hole to shoot through. Work at least one of these into your walls. Number one is a small wall with crenellations on top. Not necessarily used for a main wall due to its small size, but effective where I don't need the height that the others provide. Notice on top that I use trap doors as added protection between the crenellations. Number two is a similar design but with added detail for a larger scale. This is a wall that I've used in the past for outer walls for a city. They're intimidating and functional. Number three is more of a fantasy design. If you want to incorporate vegetation and add color, this wall provides a platform for leaves or other plants. Great for a more natural feeling. If you have a garden around your castle or a forest, this is probably the one that you want to use. Number four is my attempt at a highly realistic wall, and maybe even my favorite. Pay attention to the deep tunnels provided for the murder hole, arrow slits, and stone to brick gradient. All these are really important in making a very simple design more interesting. If you'd like to add variation to the walls at any point, add a roof to the top of the wall in some places. Realistic walls to me tend to be pretty underwhelming. A real wall itself is a, usually a flat piece of stone. However, with these little details, I think this is a very attractive wall. And number five is my indoor design where the walkway is fully enclosed. This would be useful on a wall that is on the side of a castle instead of a standalone wall where the wall might be more accessible from the castle itself. These are my five go-to castle walls. All these could be used with variations in conjunction with one another or on their own. Uh, figure out which style is most suitable for the area that you're building in and comment below which one you liked.